an osteopath, you might already know that a new CPD scheme is rolling out from autumn 2018. The scheme was developed by osteopaths and patients to support and enhance patient care and osteopathic practice. It requires the same number of CPD hours as now, but features a more flexible three-year cycle with 90 hours of CPD activity. You'll still be able to choose what CPD you do, but you'll now need to make sure you include activities that relate to the four themes of the osteopathic practice standards. Communication and patient partnership, knowledge, skills and performance, safety and quality in practice, and professionalism. There'll also be a new requirement to undertake an objective activity. This is any activity where you get feedback on your practice. You should choose an activity that explores an area of practice that's important to you. It could include patient feedback, a discussion about a case, a clinical audit, or feedback from another osteopath or health professional who you've invited to observe you in your practice. At least once within your three-year cycle, you'll need to refresh and update your knowledge and skills in communication and consent. Remember, you'll still need to keep a note of all your CPD. You'll also need to choose a peer or other health professional and have a discussion with them so together you can look back and confirm you've completed your CPD cycle. Check out the dedicated website cpd.osteopathy.org.uk for guidance, ideas and resources to support your CPD.